When a president does anything, like make a simple phone call, the Presidential Records Act says it has to be recorded. Twitter DMs, sticky notes, and all. Kelly Magsiman is a former National Security Council official under both Presidents Bush and Obama. During her experience in the White House, every call by the president included an involved process to keep all of this information in the right place. There are basically three main systems that NSC staff use. First is the unclassified system, which we like to refer to as the low side. There is a secret system, which we call SIPR, which is used essentially to communicate with State Department, Pentagon, people outside of the National Security Council. And then there's a top secret system that is used on a day-to-day -day basis by most of the NSC staff. And then there's a separate, which you're seeing in the press, code word system and server that is completely distinct that most NSC staff have no access to, physical or otherwise. In the context of President Trump and his phone call with the president of Ukraine, this is the important detail to pay attention to. There are three normal and secure systems for most information, but one, as Magsiman described, mission impossible level, code word only system. Wall Street Journal reporting shows that system is where the rough transcript of this phone call ended up. And both former White House and NSC officials are concerned that misclassification was used as a way to hide politically damaging information and not national security information. The White House says that they are still grappling with the implications of the complaint. The way that these, these call memorandums work is every single sentence or paragraph carries a classification based on whatever is in it. So when the president picks up the phone and says, hi, Vladimir, how are you doing today? That'd be unclassified because it's not containing any classified information. Then the next paragraph could be something that's at the confidential level. So for example, hi, Vladimir, I wanted to get your opinion on our latest trade agreement. Even on a secret level, secret is usually things that are highly sensitive. Maybe you're in the middle of a negotiation. Maybe there's potential discussion of military op operations. Most presidential calls are classified at most really around the secret level. From the moment the president picks up the phone to all of those classifications being made, there are usually at least three people listening in, transcribing everything they hear. Sometimes NSE subject matter experts are on the call too, like the NSE director for that particular country. They make up a unified draft that's reviewed by officials in the NSC directorate and the White House Situation Room to refine, review for substance, classify, and even just to spell check. It goes to the National Security Advisor's office for a final review and sign off. And after that, it's off to the Executive Secretary of the National Security Council to be distributed to whomever is cleared and needs that information. If the President of the United States were discussing top secret code word information with a foreign leader, whoever is transcribing the notes would not be transcribing it on a normal system because code word is our tippy top, most secret uh, intelligence programs. Very unlikely, if not impossible, that the President of the United States is discussing code word information with a foreign counterpart. So to begin with, this is not normal, it wouldn't happen. But if he had been, it would have been on a completely different system and the, the people who are able to handle that information would have to have special clearances special clearances to just that one program being discussed. That system is so secure that even if someone gets access and is read into hypothetical code word alpha material, it doesn't mean that they can simply access other material about hypothetical code word beta on the same system. Code word clearance is as close to total information lockdown as you can get. So if phone calls by the president are classified at best, where in the process did the Ukraine call go from being placed on the regular systems to the Mission Impossible level code word systems? I suspect that it was a treated as a normal call. The White House Situation Room clearly produced the transcript. Several people in the NSC staff had a chance to review that transcript. So my guess is that the decision was made to put it on a code word server at the National Security Advisors level, potentially the NSC Chief of Staff, kind of in the third rung of the process. And then that information was transferred to a code word server. But that information was not code word. The White House did not respond to comment on when the material was put on the code word server, but says that the justification was to avoid more leaks. The American public has to have confidence in their national security uh, system and process. And there have been times in history where that trust has been broken. We saw this in the Iran-Contra affair, where there was obfuscation of material, hiding of material from the American public, lying about it. These classifications exist to protect Intelligence sources and methods are biggest crown jewels. They are not meant to protect political wrongdoing, corruption, and certainly not meant to protect criminal activity. 